Welcome to the very first episode of the Woodwind Doubling Channel. This is the place where you're going to find out how to combine your skills on saxes, flutes, clarinets, and double reed instruments to become a successful woodwind doubler. Now that's going to primarily mean people working in theatre, professional theatre, community theatre. Also, there are a lot of uh, recording gigs and things like that that call for woodwind doubling. Now, over the course of the series, we'll be looking at each instrument in turn, spending some time on the clarinet and how to further your skills on that and good uh, literature and repertoire for it. We'll be spending some time on flutes and piccolos, including the larger flutes like alto and bass flute. Not often used, but handy to know about. Uh, we'll study some of the larger clarinets as well. Uh, more of the time these days, you're seeing things for like low C bass clarinets and contrabass clarinets in uh, theater works. So we'll spend some time on those. Uh, we'll also be looking at the saxophones. Now, a lot of people will be coming at it from the angle of being saxophonists, learning the other woodwinds. But there will be people who want to get into doubling who are, let's say, oboists, who are wanting to acquire skills on saxophone and clarinet. It's a very good way to go. If you're a skilled oboist, but maybe not, you know, pursuing an orchestral career, but you want to work, you might find out that uh, woodwind doubling uh, is a great way to go because if you're a skilled uh, oboist or bassoonist, uh, there, there is work out there. Uh, a lot of my work over the past few years has resulted in the fact that I play those instruments as well. I didn't originally play them. I learned them after saxophone and clarinet. I came at them from the opposite angle. If you started on those instruments, you've got a really solid grounding for a successful career as a doubler. Likewise, flute players oftentimes find that a lot of competition for orchestral jobs, and sometimes those just aren't as much fun as sitting in a theater pit playing a great flute solo and then getting to play some swinging alto lead. You're going to have uh, very different experiences in that, but it means that you can use your skills, add some other skills to them, make some money with them, or maybe just have a lot of fun with them. So throughout the series, we'll also be looking at things like uh, equipment, uh, good cost-effective solutions for the doubler, maybe some products you never thought about, maybe some uh, other stands and cases and conveniences that can make your life as a doubler easier. We'll also be doing some episodes so we go out in the road, as it were. Um, I'm actually going to take you up into the loft of the Stratford Festival and uh, show you a time lapse of a, a show. We'll also be focusing on uh, writing for the particular instruments and uh, other ways you can use your doubling skills. So, I'm looking forward to seeing you here. Please leave comments and questions uh, below. And uh, please subscribe to the channel because there's going to be a lot more comment coming your way. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.